Hello guys, we are back in the video here and I'm doing my yearly playoff simulation here in NHL 23. We're going to see who ends up winning the cup and really how the playoff series shake out. So let's get into it. Here are all the matchups. Starting off with the West, we got Vegas against Winnipeg, Dallas against Minnesota, Colorado against Seattle, Edmonton against LA, and then we got Carolina on the in the East against New York, Islanders, Devils, Rangers, Bruins, Panthers, Leafs and Lightning. So really should be a lot of good series here. I'll do my actual like real predictions as well in another video, probably maybe even later today, if not tomorrow. Like my bracket, I guess I could do for fun. But yeah, we're gonna hop into it now, guys, and we're gonna see who advances, all right? So basically what I'm gonna do is probably simulate uh, each round and kind of look where things are at after each round and see what teams are advancing, all right? So let's move on to that. Sim through most of the first round, and of course, to round out the first round, we got Tampa and Toronto in a game seven, and the winner is, Tam oh wow, Toronto actually did it finally. There you go, I mean, congrats to Toronto. All right, so here's how it shook out the bracket. So really a weird thing, a lot of upsets. Uh, Winnipeg won in seven. Uh, Dallas actually ended up winning, so that really isn't an upset. Seattle swept Colorado. Again, that's, that's not gonna happen probably, so that's pretty funny to see. Edmonton wins in seven. That could certainly happen. Not unrealistic at all. So the second round matchups in the West, you got Dallas against Winnipeg, Edmonton against Seattle. Uh, then the Metro, you had the Hurricanes sweep the Islanders. Not unrealistic. I don't think you're going to sweep them, though. Uh, the Devils actually went up 3-0 in the series. And let's just say a reverse sweep happened. If that happened, guys, I don't know if I'd be a Devils fan anymore. I don't know how I'd be able to show my face on YouTube or Twitch, anything like that, because that would be absolutely horrifying. Anyway, uh, Florida swept Boston. That was also shocking, too. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like Tampa, right, when in 2019 against Columbus. I, I don't know what happened there, but a lot of, again, two sweeps that are just shocking. Like, I, I don't know how that happened, but it, I guess it did. I mean, again, the number one and two seeds in the West are eliminated, and then you have in the East, you have... Uh, the number one team get eliminated as well. So shocking, really. And then Toronto actually won in seven. So there you go. Let's move on to the second round and let's see how it shakes out in the end. So here we go. The playoff bracket. Round two complete. Winnipeg beats Dallas in five. Edmonton beats Seattle in five here as well. Then you got the Metro. You got the Rangers winning in five against Carolina. I think that would happen, honestly. I mean, Carolina to me is one of the weaker teams here in the, in the I would say in the East, really. Uh, and then Florida wins in six against Toronto. So that one, that one stings probably for Leafs fans. You finally got out of that first round, but in the end, you still find a way to lose. You really hate to see that. So let's, let's look at some of the stats actually so far and who's really been performing in the postseason so far. Barkov really leading the way though with 22 points in 10 games. McDavid 19 and 12, no surprise there. Shifley with 17 and 12. Sagan's been really good, turning back the clock as well. Tavares has been pretty solid. Hyman has been good. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of good performers, I would say, here. A lot of Edmonton Oilers. Patrick Kane's been good, 13 and 12. So, let's go to the conference finals now. And conference finals, again, looking like that, guys. Oilers, Jets, Rangers, Panthers. Let's see how it goes. So, a shock. Both series end very quickly. Edmonton wins in five. Edmonton goes to the finals. That I could definitely see in real life. Again, the Jets being in the conference finals. Not sure if I can get behind that. Uh, Panthers sweep the Rangers in the conference finals, and they're headed to the Stanley Cup finals. So your finals are Edmonton against Florida. The ratings of that, you know, in, at least in America, could be a little bit questionable. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's how the Stanley Cup Finals is going to shake out. And let's see how it goes. Will McDavid finally get his first cup? Or will Barkov get his first cup and, and along with Matthew Kachuk, all right? So let's see how it goes. All right, so Florida's up 3-2. The chance to win the Stanley Cup here. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely wild out. It ended up playing out. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes, all right? So... Florida at home can win the cup. They don't have the home ice advantage, so here we go. First period, Florida's up 2-0 after the first. Montour, Verhey get it. Second period, 3-1. Drysdale gets one, but Kachuk gets one as well. And it looks like Florida, again, they have a great chance here of holding on and winning the Stanley Cup, which would be really, uh, definitely something you wouldn't expect. They're definitely uh, the last seed here uh, in the whole playoffs. I think. And Duclair has scored. And now it's really looking practical here. Florida might do it. We're going to go in and we're going to see the celebration here. Unless Drysdale has something to say about it. 4-2. McDavid has something to say about it here. We're going to go in and see if anything changes. But uh, let's let's see it here. I'm going to be the uh, the coach here of Florida just because I, I want to pass around the cup, I guess, potentially. All right. Let's see how it ends up going. All right. And there is McDavid. And there's Barkov. And I'll see you guys in the game.
They call it the toughest trophy to win in sports. And there it is in the house tonight. Yeah, it's also the best-looking trophy. What I a agree. gorgeous trophy the Stanley Cup is. Just a few more minutes, and maybe it'll be presented. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. part of this goal is getting yourself into position that close to the net. You get into that low slot, it's got to be a bang-bang play. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Pushes it across to Yamamoto. Hammers the one-timer. It is all over. No more trophy to win the sports than the Stanley Cup, and they're doing it. Players celebrate I can't help but feel a little jealousy for the fact that they got to run through the final stage. They deserve the trophy, and I never got to win it. I look at them and I go, man, you guys have accomplished everything. Sand going to run out before I get a chance. Look at how happy he is. Ray, I think to win a Stanley Cup these days, you need critical goaltending, you need big play goaltending, and they got it from him. Well, they did, but, but it's really rare to win without it. And I guess when you get to this point, you have to win so many games in such a condensed period of time. Your goalie has to be sharp. He delivered. Ray, the guys were wearing those T-shirts at the start of the postseason. No passengers. Case in point, another key contributor right here. Well, there are people that make huge contributions and others that just have a small bit part. But when they look to you to contribute, you have to answer the bell. Here's a great example of that. And as they gather for the team photo, there are your Stanley Cup champions. This is the emotional picture, the one with the cup for the first time. The polished one will be in a couple of days when everybody's shaved their beards and combed their hair. There you have it. The Panthers won the Stanley Cup. They went 16 and 4. That's pretty wild. 16 and 4 here in the playoffs and 33 points for Barkov in 20 games. That is remarkable. McDavid at 31 in 23, but 33 points for Barkov. Holy smokes. He went off. 
and he's really the reason when they, they won the cup 100%. So those are how some of the final points went, and there you go. All right, guys, hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the playoffs. We do my, my actual prediction and bracket video probably tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get threes. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.